Howdy, Unicorn here to show you how to inoculate a unicorn bag. Today we're using a liquid culture syringe. Never trust a spore syringe to be sterile unless you know how it was made. It's always better to go from spore to agar, but that's another video. Let's get started. To begin, get a small cup of isopropyl alcohol. Anything between 60 and 90% will work. Any lower and it's too diluted, but any higher and it will actually cauterize the cells rather than dissolve them. Another important thing is proper lab attire. When dealing with microorganisms, it's always a good idea to wear a mask, even when working in front of a flow hood. Be sure to sterilize your hands and work area with alcohol before proceeding. To attach your sterile needle, carefully remove it from the packaging, making sure the opening is facing the direction of clean air. Then do the same with the syringe before connecting. Contamination is a risk percentage, so it scales with your growth. At smaller scales, it's not as important, but it's never a bad idea to practice sterile technique. Next, wipe down the area of the bag you'll be injecting. For this video, I'm working on it backwards to make it easier to see. Normally, your work area should be facing the direction of clean air. Remember that it's always better to be too wet than too dry. Remove the cap from the needle. You don't need to sterilize it since it came sterile from the medical supply factory. After injection, replace the cap so you don't stab yourself. This step is optional, but it makes life much easier and safer. You don't need an injection port. It's possible to inject straight through the plastic. Just give it a good alcohol bath like before. Then sterilize the needle and give it a go. I'm being super generous here, but you only need to use one milliliter of liquid culture unless it's an older sample with dead hyphae. To keep the bad guys from getting into the hole, we'll tape it up. Micropore tape isn't antimicrobial, the pores are fairly large, so be sure to use at least two layers if you don't have a non-porous option. And you're done! Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you liked this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on all the things at Unicorn Grow Bags, as well as check out the new outlet store, unicorngrowbags.com, for non wholesale orders, including oxobiodegradable bags that work by oxidizing the polymer chains below the atomic mass of water, allowing them to be digested by a soil biome like any other carbon based nutrient. Save 20% by using Unicorn 20. Learn more by checking out the links of things, and as always, much love. <sighs>